Hello guys, welcome back to part 4 of my Platinum walkthrough for Ender Lilies. So straight into this one. So at that rest point, just near where we defeated the last boss, we just drop down and we're coming to the right here. Remember to reference my map if you get a bit lost. So that is collectible 129 on my map and we're just dropping down, that's Furious Blight times 30. It's just dropping down, break this spell and you find a chain of sorcery. So you can equip a few more relics. Well. We've got one more slot. After that, we're going to return to Respite. And that's going to put us back here. And now I'm just going to get my spirits back to where they were. So basically, I've just put Ulf on my set next to um, Silver. Because Ulf is a good... Basically, Ulf is like a movement spirit as well. It makes you get a bit further. Uh, same with Silver. And we've just warped to the Monument of the Wind. So just warped to Monument of the Wind after assigning Ulf to the quick menu next to Silver. So we just come up here from a save point and we're just heading out across here now to Collectible 131. This is. And this is the Amulet plus 20. So this one will give you 20 HP. So just make your way across there. Yes, I failed on my first attempt. Forgot what I was doing there for a second. There you go, in that chest, amulet gem. And then we'll return to respite. And then we'll be warping to another respite. So back to sitting down, fast travel. And I'm gonna warp to the second spire chamber, I think it was. Was that the name of it? And then from there, just heading left. Just heading left here. Basically, it's the rightmost save point in the Transpires. So, just heading left, we're just continuing left to this room next to it. And I'm going to make our way left, down, and then out of the left exit. When it comes to using Ulf the Mad Knight, by the way, his spirit, in terms of covering greater distance when you're jumping, you'll, you'll see in a second, so I'll be showing you to get some uh, collectibles. As you know, when you jump or when you dash, you can perform Silver's attacks again, but with Ulf, you cannot do that. So, you want to use Ulf and then dash straight after, and then start doing Silver's attacks to get more height. And in this room, as you see there, we've just climbed up the wall. You may need to get rid of one of them dragons in case he knocks you down. And then just climb up that wall there, and uh, you'll find that at the top. And then up here, guys, we've got an amulet fragment. And once you got that, that's step number 133 on my map. Back to the rest point. And now we're going to warp to. Warp to the Oshuary. So this is back to the catacombs, the Oshuary, guys. And we're going to get a lot of blight soon. We're going to get a lot of blight soon. So we just had enough. Did you just see it for a second? It's just beneath us. And what we're going to do, we're going to drop down to the room below. And then we're going to wall jump up to it. Yeah, there we're just going to wall jump up to it like this. There we go. And that's Furious Blight times 30. After that, we're going to return to Respite to spawn back at one above. And then we're going to be warping to the bottom of the well. To the bottom of the well now, guys. This is still in the catacombs, so to the bottom of the well. And from here, we're going to head right. And then we're going to head down here. Yeah, now this may take you a bit of practice, but basically, as you see there, we jump from the top of the wall, we do silver twice, and then we use Ulf, and then we dash straight after Ulf, we do use silver again twice, and then we double jump, and then you use silver again twice. And it's very close, it's very tight that jump, and it takes you to Furious Blight times 800. Yes, that's a hell of a lot. But the last level to upgrade is something does actually cost 800. Yes. With, in regards to covering that distance, it's very it's very tight that one actually. So you need to make sure you're make sure you're travelling as far as you can before you start doing the attacks again. And we just come over here now, just to the far right, and you find some more blight. And that is stagnant blight times thirty. Then we're going to return back to respite. Yeah, when it comes to upgrading, guys, don't just upgrade everything. Try to stick to a few things that you want to keep using. Um, we're just warping now, guys. 
over to um, Bridgehead. Just warp into Bridgehead now. Yeah, when it comes to upgrading stuff, don't just upgrade everything randomly because you may run out and farming it end game can take a long time, Blight. So we just head into the far left here, guys, you see in Bridgehead. Yeah, so you may just want to try and upgrade what I do. There's a trophy for upgrading five things. And in this room, guys, we're just heading up and in the room to the right. Yeah, it's a trophy for upgrading five spirits. And it can be any spirits. It can be pink. It can be a mixture of pink, um, the normal ones. Even the Umbral Knight counts as one of them. So with the Umbral Knight, because this material is unique, you only really need to upgrade four because you'll be upgrading that naturally anyway for another trophy. So you need to just make sure you fully upgrade four knights as well as your humble knight for the trophy for upgrading five blight, uh, five spirits to full. Uh, just got a stagnant blight, uh, guys, times 30. As you see, we had to jump on that roof there and uh, use ground power from above to get enough height to break it. And up here, we have the cliffside hamlet elder. Yeah, obviously be careful on these guys who do a lot of damage to these bigger enemies, um, especially if you're only level 32. But as you can see here on my close range build, we're using um, Siegfried and the Archer. Shortly, soon we will be getting a spirit. It, it does like a tornado attack. Um, but good thing about it, it doesn't really do great damage. But good thing about it is it just tons of not down to damage and it hits a lot. So it builds up your SP really well. Uh, we just got a cliffside hammer elder spirit from there and we're going to just jump up this wall um, if you remember we passed that ground pound floor earlier we're just going to jump off here do a ground pound don't jump too far away there we're going to get furious blight times 30 under there take that and then warp back to bridgehead and now we're heading down underneath just head left and then down into the water and we're heading to steps on my map number 140, 141 and 142 at the moment. Uh, we're going to get a lot of blight again in a second. So just come down here and you've got furious blight times 10 in the water there. Furious blight times 10 in the water. And then you've got some tricky jumps again here. Just keep an eye on what I'm doing. You don't have to make your way all the way to that far right wall like, like I did. You can make your way to that middle one and then sort of wall jump up there um, to get all your movements back and then do it from there. You see there we've just got 800 blight again, wow. And then we're just coming off here, jumping into this pool of water because at the bottom here is stagnant blight times 30. And after that we're going to warp back to bridgehead, back to respite and from there Yep, I'm uh, just having a look, see if I can enhance anything. Should be able to enhance some it, so I'm enhancing Sigrid. And I'm also going to enhance Dark Witch Elaine. And I've upgraded all for the Mad Knight little. And I've also just slotted the Holy Spring Water, because I had a spare slot into my relics. And we're warp warping two guys, the Coven Halls. The Coven Halls. When it comes to upgrading the pink spirits, by the way, the sort of um, the main ones, you want to make sure you've got enough to fully upgrade Dark Witch Elaine, because you'll find out later her special ability when she's fully maxed does literally tons of damage. It's like it does the most damage out of any ability in the game, especially when every single projectile hits the enemy. And you'll see later, uh, just got stagnant blight times ten there, guys, in the water. You'll see later with some of the larger enemies. If you dash into the middle of them, um, so normally you can't get in there because you take damage, but if you dash to the middle of their, you, you know, their body where you normally take damage and then do that special attack, every single projectile normally hits them and it's really well. Yes, I <laughs> fucked that up. Fell down. Somehow, I don't know how my double jump won't work. Sometimes your double jump don't quite work when you're wall jumping. Uh, just got a stagnant blight times 30 on there. Yeah, I'm not sure why double jump don't work sometimes when you wall jump in. I mean, obviously you think it's because you, you double jump before you hit the wall. But normally when you come from a wall, you do get your uh, movements back. So I, I don't know why sometimes I think it just counts as double jump or you did one without realising just a little, a little teeny one. Uh, but we've just jumped, uh, moved over here guys. Got the Ruined Witch's Book Relic. 
and just making our way back to that um, gravity thing, whatever this is. Floating waterfall, I guess you could call it. So just make your way up here. And uh, we've got, what else we've got in this room? We've got a few more things in this room yet. Uh, we get a chain of sorcery next. We get a chain of sorcery and then we get a spirit, the tornado spirit. Which will, will actually be useful from now on, uh, once we get it. So just coming all the way over here and in this top right pot, in this sort of room, you got a chain of sorcery. You get 20, you get 20 slots all together by the way guys. So I did mention in a previous part that it may have been 21, but I misremembered it's actually 20. Because I have actually completed this now, just actually adding, adding all the commentary. So to come down on this lift, and here she is, Floral Sorceress. Just quickly wipe her out. Oh, she died pretty quick. Yeah, because you normally come down, you, you can normally come in much later in the game. I just come in this big room when we've got all the abilities. So we can get everything at once. So Floral Sorceress. Once you've got her, we will be using that. That's going to replace the Archer later, guys, that one. So it's going to make our way up here to the left here. And there's one more collectible we're going to grab. And you'll find even when you're running by enemies, even if you don't mean to kill him, when we do slot that floral sorceress, yeah, just in his uh, hidden wall, you got amulet fragment, and after that we're going to return to a spite. Yeah, if you just quickly, when you're running past an enemy, cast sacred and a uh, floral sorceress on it, and it builds your ESP really well. Um, so there it is, we're just going to sign that where the archer was. And I'm just unhighlighting that new relic. I'm just seeing if I can uh, upgrade for old sorceress. We could, we upgraded it to level 5. And now we're walking to the witch's hermitage, guys. The witch's hermitage. There's quite a bit of collectible uh, gathering on this one. Um, and then we'll be moving on to stockade. So I guess this is quite, this part is quite a long one. But you'll find what I do as we go on, I sort of, I go and get a collectible from rooms which we can actually clear the room on. So, if there's a room where we can't quite get everything yet, I'll leave that until later, till we can. What I normally do is at the end, at the beginning of each part when we've got a new ability, I go and get all the, I go and clear the rooms that we can, and any room we can't quite clear yet, clear yet, I leave until later. So I've come to the far right here. We've got a file there, um, Elaine's diary number one. Yeah, that's step number. 150. We've got an amulet gem, sorry, 149. We've got amulet gem there. We've got a spellbound anklet. And at the top here, we've got another file. If I can make my way up, my knees are hurting. And there we go, Elaine's diary number two. And then after that, we're going to warp back to Respite. And back at Respite, we're just going to head left and enter the doorway in the background. Yes, there's two doorways in the background in this room. And in here, we're going to head right first, and we're going to make our way through the water, and we're going to get some uh, blight. Yeah, we'll get some blight first, and then shortly after that, we're going to get a file and another prayer restoration thing. You know where you examine the um, I don't know what there's a dolt, the furious blight times ten. I guess a statue or the where somebody. One of your descendants died. Ascendants even. Yeah, that's the one. So you make way up here, guys. And um, up here, there's going to be a file. Yeah, it's make way up this wall. But once you get up here, see that ledge on your left. Come over here and hit that switch because that's going to open a doorway on the left, which we'll get to in a second. Once you get up here, hit that green switch up there just to open the shortcut. And then we'll get the file. And we'll get this file, guys, and that's a tarnished picture finding. Tarnished picture. And yeah, I had to make a little edit there because I got to the end of this room and I realised it was still blue. And then I was like, what? And I, I actually managed, uh, forgot to get that. So here you go, Priestess Wish uh, from there. Another Priestess Wish. And you notice my room's still blue. That's because, like I say, I didn't get that. And we've just pulled that switch. You have to pull that switch and then quickly come in the water and get to the left before the gate falls down. Where the switch is, you can see just on the left if you move your analog stick. And yes, you can see there my room is now orange because like I said, I had to edit in guys that finding. Yeah, I got, I, I got past the gate 
and um, the room was blue and um, I realised I hadn't picked up that finding stupidly so um, once you're in here make your way to the left down the hill and up here got furious blight times 30 and make your way down here and there'll be a secret wall just to the right near the bottom there it is you can just see the bit of wall that's broken slightly you got furious blight times 10 yes the thing is I'm not quite when I'm running this I'm um, just trying to memorize everything sometimes I just don't realize that I forgot something uh, so here you have to be very very quick as soon as you pull that lever you've got a very short time to get across and as you see here I've sort of built up my SP ready so when we get to that enemy I can just jump inside him dash inside him and uh, do a special so I just got Faden's, Faden's archives number three guys file Faden's archives number three the file so make sure you grab that and I'm just assigning there the rusted blue ornament and because soon we're going to be in water we're going to be in water quite a lot so I'm just going to move some things so we've got ruined wi um, ruined witch's book rusted blue ornament yes that's what we've assigned you still want to make sure you've got your XP items on and some damage ones yeah but just something that will increase your movement ability in water and the damage you do so we've just warped to here guys back here um, if you remember where this place is this will lead us actually into a stockade and we're actually going on to step now 159 yes yeah, step 159 on my map we're going for so just headed into this room to the right of that save point which is warp to and this save point is actually in the witch thicket it's basically like it's, it's a middle uh, sort of like the the first save point in which is thicket, the first save point from the left. Uh, so once you get here, just make your way up that wall, wall jumping, and you'll find stagnant blight times 30. And then back in the water after and into the stockade, almost into the stockade. This is the bit where I said loads of water. Now try not to touch these little spikes, they do a lot of damage. Like little mines, but they don't explode, they just deal loads of damage to you. Just carefully make your way down. When you have to dash through them, trying to make sure you're dashing, you know, in a sort of direct line. Don't dash diagonally. Try and dash straight up or left or right through one because you cover more distance that way. And through here, little secret wall, you've got a stagnant blight times 10. That step, 160, guys. 160, that one. And yeah, as you can see here, try to dash straight through something. Don't dash at an angle or try and dash through more than one because you only just cover them. And like I say, they do a lot of damage. Uh, so next up is a amulet, a amulet fragment. Just keep making way through here. That's it. When it looks like you have to dash diagonally, don't just sort of move down so you can straighten yourself up so you can move in a straight line to it, through it. Uh, amulet fragment there guys HP plus 5 again and continue right, right and this will take us into a safe point down and right the stockade finally here so you get a little cutscene I'll skip that and there's a file so the executioner's vow added to the findings and just going to rest at the bench we're just going to keep our relics we have for a moment because we're going to be back in the water in a second So obviously for me here the enemies are doing a lot more damage now. The enemies will jump because we're in a new area. The enemies are going to sort of uh, sort of later area. The enemy is going to get a bit tougher. So just make my way up here. You can just get up here. As you can see, you can just get up there. You get a stagnant blight times 30. You can just get up there. Um, I think you're supposed to use a grapple hook, but if you just use your movement abilities right, you can just get up to that and get that. Let's clean this room, clear this room in one and then we just head to the bottom right now just keep going right when the lights come on you find furious blight times 10 in front of the steps you'd be ambushed by some little worms you can try and kill them or just completely fail right now or just waste a special ability on them why not and in this next room we've got water in here now two collectibles in here which we're going to grab so you're going to head straight down and then take a right here stagnant blight times 10 
when there's a sort of fork in the path and then we'll come back down here afterwards keep going and uh, yeah you come to that big blob monster you don't have to kill them but they, they do give a lot of HP they, them guys that's why I'm sort of killing them it's best if you can sort of get your SP ready then you can just dash in the middle of them use a lane special and um, it normally kills more than one hit uh, so here's the last collectible here guys stagnant blight times 10 there is another collectible we get later but that's the one that's the two I get in here for now the other collectible we can't quite get at the moment and we're just making our way up here and through this tunnel on the right and this will take us to another save point eventually after we climb the steps again yeah I almost die here get very very close I'm not sure what I'm doing I have actually got a healing item as well I'm not sure why I didn't use it in the water probably didn't want to get killed while I'm healing so there's a respite in here I'm just gonna rest and um, recover my wounds put plaster on my cuts but after that I'm just gonna drop down and head into the water here yeah, it's actually a file at the bottom of this room, but we'll get it later because we'll be back in this room later, taking the bottom route. So in here, we're just gonna come up here and we're gonna dash up the wall here. And um, you see what I'm doing? I just wanna build up some SP. So there's a blob up here covering, sort of guard into um, collectibles. So I'm just gonna get rid of these enemies um, so I can build up some SP in the process. There we go. So once you get up here, I can dash into the middle and cast a lanes special. There we go. Oh. Didn't need to use the four, the other only four only needed four, they killed him. So we've got two amulet fragments there guys. Make sure you get them both. There's two separate collectibles there. Amulet fragment and then another one next to it. So I'm just getting rid of these enemies because in a minute when we try and go that elevator, they're very annoying. They keep teleporting. So there's a switch there just activated. There's another one there, and there's another one here. There's three switches in this water. The second and third one, don't they do lower platform, but it stops in midair. But the first one, the one on the left, the platform comes into water. And now you can get into this middle platform and the third platform. Because the other levers in the water made them lower down to the middle. Uh, you need to do that so you get a stagnant blight times 30. You can get that without lowering the elevated them lifts. I've done it before, but it's very difficult. Um, so up here. And yeah, if you didn't kill the menus before, it'll keep teleporting to you. So be very careful of these assassins, they're very, very fast. And we're gonna come right and come into this room. So you just wanna quickly get rid of that blob because there's a collectible behind it. There we go, Executioner's Gloves, another relic. And then once you've got rid of the blob and got the relic from behind it, you can leave the room. Yeah, with them assassins, see that I <laughs> entered the door there when I was in there. Yeah, with the assassins, they, because they're so quick, normally when I just pass them, I just normally cast a Will Wind and Siegfried. Um, just to stun them and get them out of my way. So just make our way up here now. Uh, going to be a safe point up here, guys. Yeah, finally another safe point. And here we go. And in the safe room, it's a file. You got Honus Diary number one. And just rest there. We're almost at the boss, guys. And I'm just going to un unhighlight that uh, relic we just got to the new one and from here we're just going to head to the top left and get another source for stone yeah with all um, have I said this already when you're using them to um, this movement when you're in the air make sure you hold the button in with him to do his charge attack so I'm just going to quickly get past these pot monsters in here make sure you've got SP ready for the blob so you can kill him quickly and get the chain of sorcery from behind him and then after that you can just return to respite to get back to respite quicker and then we're going to head back out no through the doorway not the wall yeah we're going to drop down here and make our way right you can hit a few of these on your way past to build up some sp there's quite a few collectibles in this room you need to head down first and that's your first one stagnant blight times 30 and then continue across all the way to the right and there's a file there of finding you got a slip of paper a plain slip of paper with nothing on it and then up here carefully there's a hole there 
where I just looked down. There's a hole there, and there's a chain of sorcery. Yes, there's an invisible ho uh, hole there. You won't know until you fall down it. Uh, grab that chain of sorcery. Just jump from where I did, and uh, you won't fall down. Yes, yeah, basically, the drop is in line with the um, wall, which you sort of jump to. So, furious blight times uh, so 30 there. Uh, but be careful there, if you fall down, you're going to have to make it take a long way back up by going through all the rooms. Um, up here, I'm just going to get rid of that archer because we're going to do some tricky jumps to get to that wall just up there to the left, that tunnel leading up. Yeah, you can just make this. There we go, and that will take us to another relic. You've got another blob here. So, make sure you've got SP ready. And in the chest, Aura's Ring increases the spirit uses that you have. Yeah, I guess in this area, Stockade, you always want to have some SP with you, at least one. Just in case you come across any of them blobs. It gets worse in the sort of last area. So over here, top right, there's a spirit here. So if you're low on HP with nothing to heal, you probably want to go in. There's a safe point just below us, by the way. You may want to go to that first. Thing is, it can be a long way getting back up here. Yeah, I'm getting rid of all these normal enemies first because what happens if you try and avoid them all? What happens? They will, they will swarm you when you're fighting the, the um, spirit, and you get overwhelmed pretty quickly. Well, they they spawn they swarm to me anyway. Um, back at release on the switch. Never know, but they might patch it so they um, don't follow you. But um, yeah, you got assassin, you got a teleporter, you got dogs. Yeah, I just get rid of these guys as we move across. Now. The thing is, as you're moving across, when you've got no enemies, you want to move slowly, just to make sure you don't activate the battle of the spirits before you've killed all the enemies. Yeah, so there's another one here. You just teleport from nowhere, don't they? Yeah, so orbs attack. When you do is charge attack, it does, does do a lot of damage, but it's tricky making it hit. There's the spirit. The key here, not to move too far right. You see a lot, it's just nudging slightly towards that candle in the background, that brazier, until the dog starts chasing me because there's a dog on the far right. Right here he is, Dark Executioner. Now, yeah, if you're low level like me, you need to be very, very careful with him. As you can see, Dark Witch and Lane Special doesn't really do much for him. She's too small of an enemy. So really, you want to be using um, a Silver Special, perhaps. Silver Special, I guess. And there we go, got him. Yeah, you can use your Sigrid and your Tornado to build up SP, uh, SP quickly. This build's not too bad. When you use him, he teleports behind an enemy and it hits him from behind. So it's good on it's good on them ones with um, arm uh, shield. Uh, we've just got Liberated Trophy. I think that's for discovering 10 spirits or something. Something like that. Probably a bit more. Probably a bit more. Um, but yeah, he, he's good for enemies that have a shield, because when you use it, he'll just, well, almost died. Um, he'll spawn behind the enemy and hit him, even when they've got a shield up. So Honus Diary number two, which has got there, guys. And then we're going to rest. I'm just going to unhighlight these. And that's what we just got. I've definitely got more than ten, haven't I? So I'm just unequipping them, uh, the water abilities now. And we've equipped the Aorus Ring and the Holy Spring Water in its place. Right, so um, now we've rested there, we're going to make our way to the left here and you'll get an ancient soul down here. Now you see that red bit on the floor? Now normally you're supposed to do it from above before you drop down here. But if you sort of jump from this platform and you can sort of get to the middle, that sort of middle wall, that floating wall here, and if you jump up right to the bottom of that floor above and ground pound, you can just get enough height to break that. And then once we're in here, be very careful, we've got two pot monsters. Um, but I got rid of them quickly. You got an ancient soul times one. I think I forget to use this actually. Yeah, and then back up, and we're just heading to the room on the left now to clear that out. And then we're gonna walk back to a spite and um, engage the boss. Yeah, so you got a tricky jump here, where well, a tricky platform and jump. Now, as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm using silver, then all, then dash, then silver twice, and then a double jump, 
and the silver. The wall below it, as you can see, it's curved, so you can't wall jump up it. But get that blight from there. And you don't have to go away this way, but this saves you. If you can get back to where you um, jump down from, it saves you saves you having to make you take a long way around. And you see here, see that pillar in the background? That's the one we want to jump and ground pound at, that pillar in the background. And just going to make way down here, got some blight there. There we go, furious blight times 30. And that's everything in this room guys, and now to engage the boss. If you do fall down in that room, you can make your way back up, it just means you have to take a long way. Um, get back up right just get ready for the boss now guys so just seeing if I could upgrade anything so we've got Umbral Knight, Guiding Secret and Flora Sorceress in one slot and then we've got Silver, Ulf and Elaine Relics we've got Broken Music Box, Freshest Ring, Cracked Familiar Stone, Bloodstained Ribbon, Rickerous Ring, Maniasus Ring, Aurus Ring and we've got the Holy Spring Water now we can enhance the Umbral Knight one more. If you remember, we just got an Ancient Soul, but I obviously forgot here to do it. Now this fight can be a bit annoying because until you hit the last phase, he's always sort of off screen. So you're sort of always having to chase him down and he's, he summons loads of these teleporting enemies. So as you can see, I'm using my close range build and we're just gonna use combination of Sigrid, the Tornado and um, my special and just hitting him with the Umbral Knight where we can. Obviously watch out for the um, tele uh, the teleporting enemies with the Axis, the Hullbirds. This fight, it used to be a lot tr uh, lot difficult, they nerfed, they nerfed this fight really bad in, um, in a recent update. In a recent update. Because yeah, he was, he was actually pretty difficult unless you're sort of high level, but as you can see here, I'm he doesn't do much damage to me at all. Even though I'm sort of probably more a low level than what should be at this point. So yeah, it's just a case, just keep chasing after him. And then um, just keep using your spirits on him. When he summons the enemies, it does seem, I think once you've killed them all, he doesn't spawn anymore until his next phase. So you can get rid of all the minions first if you want to and then focus on him. Yeah, when he enters this last phase, he'll um, he'll follow you around more. This first sort of few stages, he he tries to stay away, he's on the defensive, uh, being the coward that he is. Coward of the abyss. But here we go, last phase, but now he'll be more aggressive and he'll chase you, he'll chase you down more now. So now you can sort of wait for him to come to you. You see what I'm doing, I'm just waiting to view my spirits, I've almost used a uh, cigarette and a tornado. I'm just going to wait till they're all gone and then I'm going to switch to my ranged and uh, just use them. Remember to use your specials. Elaine, using Elaine on this Elaine special, most of them won't hit him so um, yeah that's why I'm just using the Unborn Knight special. I should be dealing more damage but I didn't upgrade that ancient song. He's almost dead, almost got him. We're actually going to get the first ending on this level as well. Yeah, the first ending actually, it's not actually at the end of the game, it's sort of, um, well, just after this point, just after this point. Um, but I'm skipping all the cutscenes, so hopefully it won't spoil anything for you guys that actually want to watch it yourself. So, now I've used up my um, close range builds, I'm just switching to my ranged build now. And I'm just going to keep using this now from a distance. Keep using a lane from a distance. And there we go. Got him. The coward of the abyss is no more. Yes, right, so after this, we're not actually gonna call it day there. We're just gonna to get to the this ending, ending A, guys, and then we'll call it day on this part. Yes, yeah, quite a long part. The next part's gonna be a lot shorter. Yeah, don't worry, we'll make it back up on the next part by making that shorter. Yeah, so here you get the grappling hook from this guy. Yeah, the executioner's hook. You can grapple now. It doesn't really, I mean, it, it makes your movement a little bit quicker and you've got the resolve trophy. It makes movement a little bit quicker. Um, uh, stagnant blight times 10 there. Yeah, but um, most of the places where you can get with the grapple, we can with the wall jump anyway, by using all these movement abilities at our disposal. So just made our way up here and um, 
you got a uh, priestess here, priestess wish you get a prayer restoration, the carcass of my um, ascendants. Somebody tried to do this and failed. And uh, once you got to the top, yeah, you get all the items in that room. You open that gate, and before we head right to the respite, we've entered the respite room so that this is activated now. We're just going to head to the top left for, uh, exit first. And there's a few things here. We're going to get another mystic trophy here, actually. So here you've got the Nymphilius ring and the Nymphos ring. And uh, we're going to wall jump up this left wall now. There we go. Yeah, just wall jump up here. It does get a little bit tricky. Um, but you, you have done trickier jumps than this. There you go. You see just on the top there, there's a secret wall. There we go. And in here, you've got a finding King of the First Ages Tor Note, number one. And that one pops a trophy for you, newly anointed. Yeah, that's for finding like finding 45 or something. Stagnant Blight times 100. And here, you've got King of the First Ages Tor Note, number two. Yeah, it's a trophy for collecting file number 45, I think it is. Weirdly enough, I don't know why. There's a trophy for get, getting every file. And then there's a trophy for getting certain files. I guess they had to um, give trophy, trophies for something, didn't they? I'd rather have it for that though than uh, kill 10,000 enemies. Right, so um, we just we, uh, warped here to land's edge. Head to the right, I've skipped that cutscene. And you head to the right here and you get the chance to interact with something and purify it. And that unlocks the ending A trophy, guys. Yeah, there we go. Purify that, you get a benevolence trophy. And that's ending A. No, that's not the end of the game. We've still got two more areas to um, fulfill. And that's a little hint. It tells you there that it's sort of ending A by highlighting it. Um, but yeah, that's it for that part, guys. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on part five where we take out the ruined castle. See you then, guys.